There is a lot of publicity surrounding methylene blue, but the majority of people who use it don't see the results that they expect. And the reason, because they either take the wrong form of methylene blue or they use the wrong protocol. So in this video, I will cover everything there is to know about methylene blue. What it is, what are the potential benefits, who should and who shouldn't use it, what are the different forms of methylene blue, and also what is my personal protocol to use methylene blue. So by the end of this video, you have a clear understanding on how to use methylene blue safely and effectively, and if it's even the right therapy for you. Let's get started. So before we talk about the results you can get from methylene blue, let's first think what is methylene blue? What is it that you put inside your body? First, methylene blue was synthesized as a dye. Later, it was used as an anti-malarial drug. Nowadays, we use it as a mitochondrial optimizer. Mitochondria are these little power plants inside your cell that produce energy. And inside that power plant, there is an assembly line that is called electron transport chain. And at the end of this assembly line, energy is being produced and we need this energy every second in our body. Without this energy produced in mitochondria, we will die. Sometimes the assembly line called electron transport chain can get sluggish and that's where methane blue comes in. It acts as an electron donor in the electron transport chain and it makes energy production more efficient. It also has antimicrobial properties. Don't forget, first it was used as an anti-malarial drug. That's why we use methylene blue with a lot of success in treating different infections and post-viral conditions, such as long COVID or chronic fatigue syndrome. I'm a big believer in targeted supplementation. This means that a supplement should be given to the group of people who've been shown to react positively to that supplement in scientific studies, but also in clinical work. That means that one supplement is absolutely not for everyone. Let's look at the groups of people who will absolutely benefit from taking methylene blue. These are people who are looking to improve their cognitive function and maybe relieve brain fog women who suffer from perimenopause because two of the most common symptoms of perimenopause are brain fog, muscle and joint pain, and fatigue. Methane blue will drastically improve energy production and give people more energy. People suffering from post-viral syndrome such as long COVID, chronic fatigue syndrome, just recovered from an infection, will benefit from taking methylene blue, as well as people who are generally looking to optimize their mitochondrial function. Methylene blue has also been researched in the area of longevity and anti-aging, and it's been shown some very promising results. And there's a research going on in the area of Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's. Once more definitive research becomes available in these areas, I will make sure to do a video on that. So these are the groups of people who will benefit from taking methane blue. Of course, there are many more, but these are the main ones. What are the benefits that you might expect after taking methane blue? Well, first, as the name implies, it will absolutely stain everything blue. It will stain you pee blue and don't be afraid. That will go away in a couple of days. If you want to avoid that, you can take methane blue with a little bit of vitamin C. It should take care of that and convert methane blue to the form that doesn't stain everything blue. But apart from that, it's been shown to give a lot more energy. People report much better mood and improved sleep when they take methane blue antimicrobial properties so um, people who take methylene blue for infectious conditions will see improvements generally not before two three weeks for general energy production and feeling better after long covid or chronic fatigue syndrome uh, it will take four to five weeks of methylene blue before you start seeing results so as you can see there are many areas where methylene blue can be used it can be used in wellness and anti-aging I personally take methane blue for its cognitive and energy properties. So on the days when I know that I have a lot of mental workload, I will take methane blue in the morning. 
It will also help me stay fasted longer because it will participate in the energy production cycle inside mitochondria, so I will not rely as much on glucose and other foods. It will keep my mind very sharp for hours, yet by the end of the day, I'll be ready to go to bed and it doesn't disrupt sleep, especially if I take it in the morning. Some people, when they start with methylene blue in the afternoon, might report that they have difficulty falling asleep. Therefore, my general recommendations, if you take methylene blue, if you're new to it, definitely start with your morning dosages because methylene blue is active before the six hours. So by the time you need to go to sleep, its effects are worn off and you should get very good night sleep. Personally, my favorite uses of methylene blue are in anti-aging longevity and wellness, perimenopause, brain fog, fatigue, and recovery from viral disease, such as COVID or Epstein-Barr or any other viral disease that usually leads that post-viral fatigue that could drag for months. I have a patient that I specifically think about when I think about methylene blue in long COVID, a person who could not go back to work because of the considerable fatigue, so he would basically stay at home all day. He started with low doses of methylene blue. We started with six milligrams a day of methylene blue and combining methylene blue with red light therapy that we will talk about in a second and hyperbaric ox oxygen therapy, the person could actually go back to work in about five weeks time. Methane blue is potentiated by red light therapy. It's a photodynamic drug. There are several photodynamic drugs. Curcumin, for example, is the one. Methane blue is the one. This, this is what it means. When you take methane blue and then you get exposed to light, whether through red light therapy device or just by going outside and wearing t-shirt and shirt and staying under the sun, methylene blue gets activated in your cell. Red light therapy also affects mitochondrial function. It works on cytochrome C, and methylene blue works on complexes one and three. So methylene blue and red light therapy are absolutely synergistic. First, red light therapy activates methylene blue, but secondly, they work on different places in electron transport chain in mitochondria. So they potentiate different stages of energy formation, thus making the energy formation cycle a lot more efficient and effective. You can also combine methylene blue with hyperbaric oxygen therapy. And hyperbaric oxygen therapy works by providing extra oxygen that is needed on the last step of energy production inside of mitochondria. So again, when we look at the energy production cycle, we realize that methylene blue works really well on complexes one and three, red light therapy works on cytochrome C, and oxygen works at the last stage of the energy production cycle. So by combining these three therapies, we potentiate the production of energy inside the cell. Um, there are different ways of combining it. You can do methylene blue followed by red light therapy half an hour later, followed by hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Both methylene blue and red light therapy, sort of the effects stay in your system for some time. So you will absolutely be benefiting from all three if you do it in that order. Methylene blue followed by red light, followed by hyperbaric oxygen therapy, but there are other ways to combine it as well. So if methylene blue is such a great remedy, why few people see results from it? Let's look at the common mistakes people can make that usually don't deliver results that methylene blue can give. First is the form of methylene blue. Methylene blue can come in a pill or in a liquid form. Pill form is always preferable for two reasons. One, liquid form makes it very difficult to calculate the dosage of methylene blue. And you will see that the dosage of methylene blue is where most people go wrong and why they don't see effects of methylene blue. Also, liquid methylene blue is much easier contaminated with things like heavy metals. Therefore, you should not take it in a liquid form. There's also an IV methylene blue that delivers a much larger dose and it should always be administered under a supervision of a practitioner who knows everything about methylene blue, who can titrate the dose, who can look for the common indications, contraindications, and things like that. 
You should also use pharmaceutical grade methanolol only because non-pharmaceutical grade can be harmful, can contain, and always contains heavy metals and things like that. Now, dosage of methylene blue is where most people go wrong. I like to start low and slow. So you start at lower dose and you build the tolerance. And by lower dose, I mean like four to six milligrams of methylene blue a day, preferably taken in the morning. We discussed why in the previous section. Then you can slightly increase the dose, slightly, I mean by one or two milligrams every, every couple of days and see how you feel after taking methane blue. So if you get to the point when you feel like you've drank an energy drink or five or six coffees, then you're definitely overdoing it and you're overstimulating your mitochondria. Go back to the lower dose. In my opinion, methane blue should not be taken every day. Um, first of all, um, it stays in your body for several days, so there's no need to take it every day. And secondly, usually once you reach the desired benefit, you should move into taking methane blue occasionally, which means once or twice a week, sometimes once a week, sometimes you don't take it for a certain period of time if you're not looking into cognitive and energy stimulating properties of methane blue. Therefore, you take it in the course of treatment, which is usually two to four, sometimes five or six weeks. And uh, how do you determine how many weeks? please work with a practitioner who understands methylene blue. That way you know that somebody is overseeing your treatment. But you can also look at your symptoms. You can grade your symptoms at the beginning. You can look at your energy, your mood, your sleep, and grade it on a scale of 1 to 10, then do it every five days and see where you're at. And once you reach the desired benefits, from methylene blue, now it's time to stop and take a break and move into more occasional uh, take of methylene blue. Methylene blue, like any drug or supplement, has side effects and contraindications. Let's look at contraindications first. Methylene blue should not be taken together with large doses of antidepressants, particularly serotonin reuptake inhibitors because it can create, when taken together, serotonin syndrome that can be life-threatening. If you take antidepressants, please consult a practitioner before starting taking methylene blue. Our second contraindication is pregnancy and lactation, and this is understandable because there's not enough information to conclude that it is safe. And our third contraindication is glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase deficiency. It's a test that you can do at your lab, it's a blood test, and it's done once in life. And if you're deficient, methylene blue and high-dose vitamin C, such as taking an IV, is contraindicated. Now, in terms of side effects, methylene blue stains everything blue, we know that. But it can also, when taken in large doses, and large doses are doses higher than 20 milligrams a day, it, it can produce a lot of oxidative stress. And it can result in feeling over-energized, jittery, not being able to sleep, and uh, actually fatigue instead of, it's almost like having too much energy and being tired from it. Therefore, again, I advise to start with lower doses that would absolutely have the effect and not go into larger doses um, with methylene blue. More is not always better. Before we move into protocols on how to take methylene blue, and I know you all want to know about protocols, let's talk about relationship of methylene blue with nitric oxide, because this is where a lot of confusion comes in. A lot of people know about nitric oxide and that it's beneficial for your health. However, a few people know that there are three types of nitric oxide. There is inducible nitric oxide that is produced in response to injury, and it's actually inflammatory form of nitric oxide. There is endogenous nitric oxide produced in mitochondria, and it's good for longevity and anti-aging. And there is neuronal nitric oxide that is produced in your brain and is great for brain health. Now, methylene blue at lower doses, that is to say doses lower than 20 milligrams a day, does not affect beneficial nitric oxide. 
However, it does reduce inducible nitric oxide, the inflammatory nitric oxide, and this results in decreased inflammation and decreased pain. In lower doses, doesn't affect neuronal and endogenous. However, when we move into higher doses, such as one milligram per kilogram of body weight of methane blue, which is uh, seen in, for example, IV methane blue, that's when we start to affect the beneficial nitric oxide as well. Therefore, dosing of methane blue is very important depending on what uh, goal you're trying to reach. Again, um, longevity nitric oxide at lower doses of methane blue is not being affected. Same for brain nitric oxide, which is great for brain health at lower doses of methane blue, is not affected. Now that we understand this, let's move into the protocols. Now that you understand what is methylene blue, what is the preferred form, what are the safety considerations, I will give you my step-by-step -step guidance on how to take methylene blue. First, you need to look at two contraindications. If you have contraindications, methane blue is not for you. If you have medical conditions, please consult with a healthcare practitioner before starting any new supplement or medication. Then you need to choose the right form of methane blue. Pill form is absolutely preferred to liquid, so pill or crochet form is really good. Use pharmaceutical grade methane blue only and stay away from non-pharmaceutical grades. In terms of dosage, start with low dose, like 3 milligrams a day of methylene blue, taking at the same time of the day, preferably in the morning on an empty stomach. And log your symptoms every day. Look for energy, sleep, mood, all the um, different symptoms that you might have and grade them on a scale of 1 to 10 and see how the symptoms are changing as you start taking methylene blue. You can increase the dosage and generally staying under 20 milligrams a day is safe provided that you do not have any contraindications or any uh, other medication interaction of methylene blue. Be patient. You might not see the results for the first two to four weeks. However, at one point, you will get to the point when your cellular energy is optimized and you don't need to take methylene blue every day. Remember, the, the idea here is not to rely on methylene blue for energy production. The idea here is to optimize cellular energy production function to optimize your mitochondrial function so you don't need to actually to rely on supplements. And you might move into a situation where you only need methylene blue once a week or several times a month on the days when you have more workload than other days. Always consult with healthcare practitioners if you have any medical conditions, if you take other supplements or if you take other medications. Methylene blue is a great supplement but it needs to be taken with caution and it needs to be understood really well to see real results and not to do any harm. And I wish you all the best. So start conservatively, be consistent and patient observe your symptoms, observe the results that you get, and please share in the comment section below if you've taken methylene blue, what results did you see, and what specific considerations you might find interesting and important when taking methylene blue. And I'll see you next week.